As adults, we have so many conversations ranging from relationships, communication, and sometimes even sex. On today's episode, we're going to talk about how many sexual partners may be too many to deal with from a female's perspective. If you're looking for good content, look no further. Stay tuned. all right all right what it do what it is what it's going on you know who it is it's your boy me here on up and coming show break bread you know what i usually do i let the guests introduce themselves first she's a familiar face but i'm still let her introduce herself hi everybody i'm karima um i've been on here before i am a lawyer motivational speaker when it's five or less people um, I can give all the motivation that you need, maybe six people. Um, I do a little bit of acting, doing a little modeling to get myself, you know, less shy and stuff. But that's it. That's that's all I do for now. Okay, okay. For those that follow my platform, I did a podcast a little while back with my cousin regarding how many sexual partners are too many to deal with. So I said to myself, you know what, I want to hear female's perspective from it and I had to pick you because you know you give me the best content and the best vibes and the best energy. So oh. I had to hit up the light oil to, to jump on here. So you know, <laughs> but you stated um that you have questions. So I'm gonna like switch it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you ask your question first. See, that's why you never tell the next the next party what you are. I have a question. Are we are we live? Can they see me? Am I like connected to your live on Facebook? Because I have my best friend who says she doesn't see and she wanted to um try to um, try to see it now because I had to change the um privacy to public. So try it now and see. Okay, let me, I'm sorry. Let me tell her. Yeah, because it's it's public now, so it should be good for everybody to view that wants to view it. And they would see me if I that I'm live with you. Yeah, they would see you as well. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, I, I don't appreciate you changing the format of this, but um, what? That's oh, fun. you had questions, so let's get it. Well, the questions they pertain to each topic, so oh, so you want me to go? No problem, baby. I just okay. wanted you, you know, so, I want you to go first. Yeah, okay, this is your platform, your area of expertise, and the podcast that you did two years ago with your cousin spoke a lot of volumes, speaks volumes, and I mean, so, okay, so like we don't like it. We don't like it. Okay, I understand the the raunchy aspect of it, but some of the stuff that was being said was true. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I always told my cousin, like you know, it's about how you say it, but I gotta respect it because it is. he's authentic. It is. Well, and yeah, he is who he is because it's like we yeah. in a generation of like sometimes where you can't talk to a person normally until you get out of your face and talk crazy to them from to understand because people are stupid not all people but some are like that though sometimes you gotta yell at a nigga to get your point across because niggas don't listen and you sound just like your cousin you i'm just cousins. saying though it's it's true it's truth to that as a cousins yes that's nice you know what yo i'm gonna <laughs> holler at you when we get off this man you trying to play me but anyway no <laughs> You know what? Um, I, you know what? what? My favorite, well, not my favorite part. What what was very alarming about the podcast, um, from the male <laughs> perspective. Okay. So I'm gonna skip around. Hopefully, I, I don't mix up what I wrote. But you guys, you gave the you. I believe it was you. If I'm referencing it correctly, you gave the definition of a hoe, and I have that in in a quotation mark. I have a couple <laughs> things in quotation marks because you you defined in about like 22 minutes of your video at the 22nd minute. Of your video, you defined mm -hmm. uh, a hoe. I mean, it could be defined in. Wait, can my friend Cherry say hello really quick? He's, he's, he's saying, of course. Hello. Say hello. Oh, I'm sorry, Lauren. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, oh, that's still on. <laughs> so, yeah, he's usually jumping in and out. I know he's, he's shy, yeah, so he's yeah. not gonna say it. But yeah. so you had a definition of a hoe. You stated okay. these are your words, but tell me if I mixed them up because I was driving and writing. You said you define a hoe as 
say you were, I don't know if you said you were in a relationship or if you were just messing with her, but two days later, after you guys break up, she sleeps with someone else. Am, did I, am I, am I referencing that correctly? I don't want to, I don't want to miss, miss, <laughs> I don't want to mess up what you were trying to convey. So is, is uh, you, that was two years ago. Do you still stand by? And then you asked your cousin if, if he agreed with that. Took him about two minutes to get his hit, wrap around what you said. And he, he also agreed with it. I don't agree. But how do you feel two years later? How do you, do you, do you, and then just, just, yes, do you, you still, you still stand by that? I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, can I The only you? reason why I say that is because mm -hmm. it's like, how can you go from being in a committed relationship, committed relationship to two days later after your breakup, you fucking somebody else? That means you was never really committed to begin with. Like, even, even like, this is like true talk, I'm about to say. Statistically wise, it takes a man three to four weeks. Well, some men, not all, before they fuck somebody else. A female, it yeah, takes three to four weeks. right. Now, hold on, I said some men. You can look this up. The numbers might be a little off, but around that time. For a female, it takes three to six months on an average. Right, before right. it takes a long time. Else. Yeah, it could take so a long time. If, so if you were dealing with somebody for a long period of time and then two days later after a breakup, you fucking somebody, you was never in a relationship. That's you were just true. basically on borrowed time, if that's no. okay. So, so if two days later after you break, you're already y'all y'all are out of the relationship. The relationship is over. But do you also know that most women, actually women as a whole, are mentally already out of the relationship? You know, like before we break up with a man, usually we've already given out all. You know, we're nurturers. We try to give it all. We try to keep going. We'll talk. We'll say what we got to say. But then we mentally check out already before the relationship is over. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I'm not saying two days later is not aggressive, but what I'm saying is this woman already is already done with the relationship. So maybe two days later, what did I write? What did I say? Yeah, that's what I said. I said, so if we sleep with a guy two days later, then that might mean that we thought about it. We thought about that guy, the relationship is over, or they just maybe they just caught us in a vulnerable state, or maybe we just want to be like a man. We're just, we're just like we just wanted to get off because that's what y'all you guys, you guys said that you guys said that in your podcast <laughs> years ago. So, so so the relationship is over. Two days. Later, I have a question for you though. I, like when you okay. and, and, and what if, Not what gonna, if, I want to backtrack the film you said though. No, because I because I'm just basing it off what you guys are saying. So I'm pulling like little things from. Two minutes, five minutes, thirty minutes. All this. It was a lot going on. I had to. It was a lot for me to take in listening to the podcast. But what I'm saying is, it's just always a double standard. And that three to four weeks, I've never heard. Does it, it take three to four weeks? What do you think? So I, I think you guys are just boop, break up. You, you, say two to four hours. Y'all, y'all out there. Three to four weeks. I, I don't. I don't. I didn't. I know. mean, this is what I looked up. You feel what I'm saying? Where you this, this up? Huh? Where in Amish town? No, I, I googled it. I said, "What it just? I just googled the average time, you know, after a breakup, does a guy have sex with somebody else?" And it said I, three weeks. I don't. I, three for weeks. a female, it said four to six months. <laughs> that that. So then, the norm is not two days later. So based on what you found, if a woman is three to six months, it's normally. Anyway, what were you gonna say? about the mentally checking out thing right so if you're in a relationship and as a female you mentally check out why not end the relationship right there we because we try to give out all See, we, no we, no 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 we, because we, if it was the we, other way around and the guy was to do that to y'all you know we, what females would say like for example like okay i'm getting an example right you said a female mentally checks out in a relationship right most let's reverse it real quick let's reverse it real quick so let's just say a guy's in a relationship and he cheats. You want to know what females would say? A female would say, why you ain't just leave? Because that's the same thing for a female. If you mentally check out a relationship, that no. means in your I, eyes, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. No. That means in your eyes, you're not in a relationship no more, right? That's so at that moment when you checked out, you as a woman should have said it's over right then and there. But you know what y'all do? Y'all stay in a relationship for another six months to a year. No. Having this man thinking something that is not, and then just dead the nigga, and then wonder why he got the the face like, what happened? 
You no, so you're 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 mixing up my words. What I'm saying, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. You said the reason why the woman probably has sex with the guy two days after the breakup of her relationship is because she already mentally checked out. So what I'm saying tried, is tried and tried and tried with this man. I'm I'm talking about when the relationship is not going well, and I'm okay. coming to you, Meek, and saying these are my issues. You're in I'm just example. You're inconsistent. Whatever you know, we don't spend enough time together. You know, blah 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 blah. Whatever. So I, what I'm saying, what the Asians say, because she's been through a lot, maybe she needs someone to comfort her. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What do you say? That's that's caps. I'm sorry. That's that's what about the double standards right there. <laughs> no, that right there is double no, standards. Y'all are the double standard because how? The thing is the double standard about how, about women having too many bodies. That's the double standard. You guys that's still a double standard. Yes, it is. I Google some stuff too. I Google some stuff too. <laughs> I Google some stuff too. <laughs> I Google some stuff too earlier last week. It's a it's a double standard as a whole because you are talking about women and having too many bodies and twenty and thirty and whatever you were saying, but you guys sleep with a, a, a not everyone, not every man, but you guys sleep with a lot of women and it's it, it's glorified. You guys get a trophy. You guys are handing out. Well, at the end of the day, if it's any man terrible. glorifies that, if it's any man glorifies thing. that, he's ignorant. You guys, look, you guys be dapping each other like, oh, you got her, you got the girl, like. It's 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 a big parade, <laughs> right? It's cool for men to have a hundred bodies. It's, it's ridiculous. It's literally First like all, women, it's frowned upon for women to even to sleep with even like 10, 10 men, twenty men, fifteen. That's what it's just. It's it. That's the double standard that has. And but you said it's we got to blame it on the coming back to the feminine aspect, right? First of all, you see. That right, I I didn't even put those things together. Like when I said the feminism thing, I said that like in a completely no, different it was, it was, it was like you trying to sit up there and mix my words. You nah, man. It's right here. I'm, this is your words right here. You see this? You see my scroll? Because okay. I don't play. Okay. It, was within, <laughs> it was within you defining what a hoe is. Two minutes later, you said it's just because you said women say it's just not that simple. It's you said it's just that simple. It's not just the way it is. It's like the feminism. We have to blame. No, that's BS. You see, for those that's watching this, I'm going to post my video, that video she's talking about later. And we're going to see if I said those at the same time. I said it in completely <laughs> different did. segments of the show. You so, did. Cherry, do you, what do you have to say about this? Oh, nothing. He don't have, he don't have anything to say right now. He's just listening. He's just listening. He's just listening. Okay, well, I got my first question. You ready? No. I'm about to, I'm about to flame your ass, but just letting you know. You ready? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. No. Thumbs the down. The first question is, matter of fact, scratch that. I got five instead of four questions. How many bodies you got? Ooh! That, you didn't ask to run that on his. Yes, I did. We spoke about that. Oh, that's because it probably it's probably after my, my body count is very low. It's like seven. I'm telling you, it's I just counted. Okay, I'm usually counted. when a girl says a number, you times it by two. So you mean no, 14. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I counted it like two weeks ago and I was like, I really don't like that. I had to like, did I miss somebody? Seven but bodies. It, 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 but honestly, it really doesn't matter what my body count is, let me. If I said 30 or 40 or 60, I'm or a times it by two. No, why are you I'm gonna times it by two. Why? So if you tell me 40, why? you mean 80. Because 80? women lie. Women okay, women <laughs> lie. <laughs> Listen, women lie all the time about these two things: their age and how many people they have sex with. I'm 25. I don't need to lie. There you go. You see, two for two. <laughs> no, you know, two for two. I don't need to lie because I'm I don't need to lie. Because people get on my nerves. I'm very selective anyway. I don't even I don't even want to sit across from you from dinner if I don't like you. Let alone you think you're touching me. I don't need to lie about my body count. Okay. 
So you said seven, right? Yeah, remember, I was celibate like three, four times for two years. Like, how, how, what was I out here? When? When was well, I? Hold on, you said you were celibate three or four times in two years. <laughs> four, three, like two year interims is what I'm oh. saying. Oh, don't, oh, okay, okay. Don't try. Don't play. Don't play with me. Now you being funny. You got your glasses on. You being funny. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, I miss you. That's why it's been a while. We've been since on a, a podcast. I miss you. That's, that's that's you have new people. So, what can I right. say? You didn't need me. You had other people. All right. Well, I need you now, baby. Oh, I'm not available. <laughs> and actually, if I had a publicist or a manager, that question wasn't given to me prior and it wasn't approved. That's what I should have said before I answered it. You gave me four questions. That was a fifth question. Thank you, Asia. He being Asia, if, I, if you I'm, feel like I'm being disrespectful, my yeah. apologies, baby. I don't, yeah. I don't do the disrespect. I just speak the truth, man. You no, know? she said you were disrespectful on that podcast with your cousin, right, Nico? Anyway, question number one. You ready? Yeah, because that other question wasn't a question. All right. How many sexual partners are too many to deal with, from your perspective? It depends. Um, so you really can't blame people on their past. So I really don't have like a number. I don't I don't I don't really even know how to really answer that because Okay, so let's say if you talking to a guy, right, and he says I have had a hundred sexual partners. That's disgusting. Would you still deal with him? It depends on if at that point where like I'm like I love him. If I like him, I don't know. Maybe. So then you can't answer that question. You just did. So a hundred people, a hundred, a hundred women. That's disgusting. Okay. That's a lot of women. I mean, what? I mean, that must mean you're very popular. You have a lot of followers. They're just throwing themselves at you, and you just have no sexual discipline. Like I just got to take everything or anyone that you just. Okay. Yeah, celebrity mentality. Thank you from the sideline. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Do okay. you think so, a so do you think a hundred women for a man is a lot? Someone in their thirties? I mean, um, you laughing? You see what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, I guess you could say yeah. I would say yeah. You think so, right? No, but I, no, I really know there's men out here that had sex with a hundred or two hundred, and that's disgusting. Two hundred and a hundred and that you just. All anybody. right. So what if? So what if the love of your life, when everything you wanted in a man, is in there. front of you, right? If everything you wanted in a man is in front of you, literally in front of you right now, but he had sex with one hundred and fifty women, would you still be with him? And there's mind you, he's the man of your dreams. Everything you ever wanted in a man is in him, but he just had one hundred and fifty bodies. Would you still deal with him? There's nobody in front of me right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you. hypothetically speaking. Right. Yeah. His stat. Right. Right. Like his. As of right now, his his mindset and right. You have to be developed into a very mature man for me to. Yeah. For me. And then why? Why did I find out? That's one of my questions. Because how? Like why did I find out now? Why? Like so. And that's what I wrote. I literally just wrote that because I was based. Like how do you finding that out after? He's already, we already in a long term relationship. Why am I just like, do we speak? Do we have because conversations? You never ask. Some people, because some people believe in that me? don't ask, don't tell thing. No, know? cause how is he the man of my dreams? And then I'm finding out like, you know what I mean? Like don't ask, don't tell. How did I find this out? Because Later maybe he decided time. to tell you. That's why I always don't say in the beginning, you gotta ask these questions. If you don't ask the questions, you're not gonna find out anything, right? If you think about it. So you like ask, for example, for example, some people look at it like they might be embarrassed about their sexual past, so they don't want to bring it up. And if nobody asks about it, they're not gonna, you know, volunteer it. So, but the way he just said, "What is too many bodies for a guy?" Well, I can't speak for all men, but for me, from a personal perspective, like I'm just being understanding because we are in a generation where you know a lot of people are sexually active. So for me, I would say. 20 25 would be like uh i don't know about that for a guy in their 30s yeah that's how no because your friend acts from a guy oh, yeah, so because that so you're saying for a woman that's 25 bodies you're giving 20 it's kind of it's kind of a lot for a yeah woman. for a woman yeah in my opinion. and the only reason why i'm saying that's because i'm being modest you know because i have to understand we are in a generation where people are sexually active so I, you know Take that into consideration. Okay. 
Well, that's nice so, of you to so. take that into consideration on this one because you didn't have that same energy on that. Yes, oh, I did. I said the same number on the last one, 25. You did say you said 20 or 25. All right. You did say so, that. The next question I have for you. Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. So my question is, when you first start talking to a young, beautiful brown lady, you yeah. know, that you meet, um, are, is this one of the the beginning questions that you ask? Is this, is this a, oh. I want to know, like, is this a normal question? Because I don't ask this. Is this, yeah, is, yeah. Is this, this is how we kick this off? Like, this is this, because I'm like confused. I literally have that on here. Like, I don't ask that. I mean, sometimes I'll side eye a guy because I know they're very popular. They have a lot of followers. I know that all the women are throwing themselves at them. So I'm like, I know they probably have a high body count, but I'm not asking this. So I want to know, is this normal? Like, am I, because maybe I'm out of the, the loop. Is this a normal thing? I'm, I mean, to be honest with you. What this, is what, this is what we're at. When we're getting to know one another, I'm, we're sitting here, we Netflix and chilling, or we're out roller skating or ice skating. And I'm, these are the questions that to get to know you, like, how many bodies do you have? Because really, what does it matter at this point? I'm with you, right? You know what I mean? I'm trying to build something with you. Why does why does my past? Everybody has a past, right? Me? Yeah. This is a multi-layer question. So everybody has a past. So why are we even basing it on how many people we slept with in the past? Like, I don't know. I didn't I didn't know this was a normal question. I to mean, to be honest them. with you, like to answer your question, you know, like. I was in a relationship for a long time, so I can't answer your question because I never was really in the loop. But for me personally now, if I was to be pursuing somebody or talking to them, I'm going to ask this question because did I need you, to know these Did you ask this before? No, that's why I said now. I didn't ask before. Why like not? I, said, I wasn't, huh? Why did, why, why did you never ask? This is important. Because good. I just got out of an almost 10-year relationship, so I can't really answer right. that question. Because I was 10 years ago, so, you know. So now, all of a sudden, now it's important to know. I mean, for me now, yes. For me, but, personally but, speaking, maybe for him, it's not. But for me, it is. But, so but why, so what What changed in your mind that now you, you want to know, is what I'm saying? Because, like, why are the baseline questions? Do you think this is a problem that later down the road or something? Okay. The reason why I say that is because now females be thoughts. But trying to act like they not. You feel what I'm saying? These females be fucking mad niggas and then trying to find a simp to make them a wife. So that's why I'm going to ask these questions. How many bodies you got? Because this ain't going to be no situation where you know you a hoe and you know you got wild bodies and you trying to get wiped up and try to get wiped up by me. It ain't happening. Why can't you can't wipe up somebody that was previously um, in the streets? You see how I worded that, Lamique? Yeah, yeah, in the streets. For me Compared personally, who who would want to be with somebody that was in the streets? Would you want to deal with a dude in the streets? Hmm? <laughs> would you want to deal with a dude from the streets well, that was in the streets? Like his present. You mean that he was in the streets? Yeah. How long ago? Because now I don't want to... Say, let's just say a couple months ago. No, come on. Now you, you know. No, a couple months ago, no. But it, what if he's changed and like like a year or two, and he's, he's pre he realizes that's not what he wants to do anymore. So I mean, I'm like, yeah, I can't answer that question. So you can answer that question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hope he doesn't present himself like that. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't. I don't know. So you know, but the second question I have for you: Third. Do you think a person with a lot of sexual partners can be considered high value? Like, can yes. it be a high value partner if they had a sexual past? Yes, because for me, in my mind, I for this, I'm obviously I'm not a man, but I feel like men, like after a while, if, if they are a dog or they are hoeing around, I feel like something clicks in them where they finally don't want to do that anymore. So they they now they want to build with someone. You know what I mean? So yes, I think they are of high value once they stop acting like that and their mentality changes. Okay, so can I ask you a question? Earlier in the podcast, you said if a guy had a hundred partners, you wouldn't deal with. So now you're contradicting I yourself. I said I wouldn't. I said I don't really know. I said that at first. I said, <laughs> Look at you, got him, got him. I said that's disgusting. <laughs> got him. But they can be high value. 
that did I say high value to me? No, I'm just kidding. No, they can be high value. Everybody can change. Everybody has a past. Like I said that before. So you didn't get me, Lamique. Okay. Oh, you gotta say Meek on the podcast. I don't want these niggas know my real name. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, ops, man. What's wrong right, with Kameek. you? All right, Kameek. <laughs> Yo, I miss you so much, son. Damn yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. If he put up with you knowing that. Hi, James. That's your friend? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kev, what up, baby? What's good, nigga? But anyway, all right, so. Yes, get the person Well, I'll go to my next question. Do you have a question for me? Because you said you did have questions, so you can, you know, what's up? Um, I have a lot written on this paper. I don't know. I don't know what. I just, I'm like all over. Um. No, I have to figure out my questions. So you can you can go on to the next one. Okay, the next question. Wait, is... have you ever messed with someone? Have you ever dealt with someone with a high body count that you found out later? Um. Yeah, I mean, it happened to me before. And how did y'all? Did you stay with her? Did you leave? What happened? No, because I broke up with her. Because of that, or because of something else? <clears throat> Because I had my suspicions that she was, you know, loving the crew. And when I broke up with her, I found out it was true. So, yeah. That she was currently loving the crew? or She, she was, was loving, crew? while she was with me, she was loving the crew. And I had my suspicions. But then when she came out and told me about her body count, I was like, oh, this girl's a Tatiana. And then uh, when we broke up, I found out she was loving the crew. So I was right. So, well, that's yeah. different, though. She's currently... She currently is engaging in a high body count. But I feel like people that have had a high body count and you can't hold that against them. Can't hold stuff against people unless they're currently engaging in it is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I, I, I think we should all, for me, I just have a lot of discipline. I like my men to have discipline too, but I'm talking about like I've always, I'm very, I've always been selective, either selective or celibate. That, that's it. That, that, those are my two, that's it. Even when I'm not celibate, I'm selective. And for me, I don't understand why people, a lot of people aren't like this, but I can't hold it against them if they want to sleep with everything that presents themselves to them. Why, why, why? Just because somebody, like, yeah, I don't, know. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the next question I have for you, do you think highly sexually active people can be in relationships? Ask one more time. Do you I think, yeah, yes. do you think that a person that's highly sexually active can be in a relationship? Yeah. What do you think? Like, like, yeah. They okay. Have, Let me give you an example. Like, you're talking to a guy, right? You guys are on a date. You're having a conversation or whatever, and he tells you he likes to have sex. Like, he just comes out and says, "Look, I like to have sex." Oh wait, what you, date? Number huh? one. First day? Um, okay, Leah, let's sure. Let's go with the first day. No, no, I'm not because that, that's eternal. Why are you talking about first of all this on a first date? Yeah. No, we gotta go. Is this what we're talking about on the first day? What do you think? Well, cause why are you cause I would be like I would I make a lot of faces, so I would just look at him like, well, I don't know why you're telling me. All right, the reason why I asked that I got a little story I wanna, I wanna share. Good, I like stories. So, we like stories, huh? Um, it was this girl, right? This was a couple of months back. Mm -hmm. And, um, she just came out and was just like, yo, you know, I'm just letting you know, I like to have sex a lot, but I can be in a committed relationship. Though. So I said to her, okay, got you. I'm not looking for that. Like, could we just be friends? Could we just build and see what happens? And she said, no, I can't do that because if we end up doing that, I'm going to end up cheating on you. And I said, why? And then she said, because I just told you I like to have sex. So to answer that question, to reverse, no, a person that's sexually active highly cannot be in a relationship. Because you want to know why? If they don't get satisfied in a relationship sexually, they're going to go to somebody else. Well, I don't know if I agree with that wholeheartedly. Right. Well, you don't agree oh, with well you can. Your fellow male counterpart can agree with that. You know, and that's just how I look at it, you know? So that's why I had to ask that question. I actually thought about that girl writing that question. So shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. I ain't going to say your name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can definitely agree with that. Because uh, if, she's not, if she's not satisfied with you, she's definitely going 
get it from somebody else. Or I mean, but you can right. learn each other's bodies and then, you know, like she doesn't necessarily have to cheat is what I'm saying. Right? Oh my God. Why are you always <laughs> trying to generalize and be technical with shit? So she said, well, it's technically she doesn't come from. The, the chemistry is not always good. Like, I feel like you have to learn each other and learn each other's bodies and learn each other's likes and dislikes. It's not always, you're not always going to click. So does that mean that I'm going to cheat on you just because the first, second, third, fourth, you know what I mean? No, I know it's a possibility she can cheat, but I'm saying it's not, I feel like it's not a guarantee that. Because if she wants to fight for this, she's The bottom line is they can't be in a relationship. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so that's just what it is. So if she is, let's say he's not around or whatever the case, and, and she got that urge or whatever, so she, she, she gonna figure it out. She gonna find somebody, and that's why. And then it's gonna be more likely that she it cheats on them and all that. So okay, well look at that. That's just what it is. Facts. Okay. Facts. This actually, that this made me spark another question just now. Um, for you personally, Karima, if you're in a relationship and you have a mental connection, but you don't have a physical one, I can stay. I won't cheat. I'll work on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Men won't. Here we go. How do you know that? I Googled it. You Googled it? (laughs) (laughs) I I Googled it. I went on Safari and I Googled it. Every every individual is different. So, yeah, you can't just say, oh, men would do something. No, I know. I know. I, I, I think a man would. I'm sorry. Let me let me phrase it like that. I yeah. think women are more understanding and will give some. Can't say all. I personally would not leave a man for that, especially if we have a mental connection and everything else is good. I wouldn't. We're gonna figure it out. Like I said, we're gonna figure it out. Just like even I, so, I compare that like with a bad first date. Some people are like, it's over. Like I'm not giving no other chances after a first date. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I say that some people are nervous, and maybe because I see the good, too good. In people, so I like I'm like the first date. Maybe you're nervous if it's dinner. That's why I think it should be a fun date because I feel like you can't always judge what happens on the first date. Like yeah. to say you don't like them, but right, right, right. Everything plays a factor. Anything can play a factor. You know, what if the person is just so good looking? You just it's just so many things that could make the first date not go well. You know what I mean? So I always try to give a second chance, but there's some people like no, the first chance is done. So I compare that to when you have sex with someone for the first time and it's just, maybe it's just not good. So that's why I'm saying if the mental is there, you know, if everything else is good, we're going to figure it out. So that's, that's why I'm trying to overlap that. You know what I mean? Things happen. Cause also like you, like your mental could be off too that day. You know what I mean? Like you're, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you get it? Yeah. so you're like, you're not really there. So it's just not good. Plus I feel like you have to learn people's likes and dislikes. It takes time. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody's different, right? Especially if they have a lower body count. People, we, you know, some people with a hundred, I guess they would be able to figure out anything. And everyone on Jigsaw, Jenga, they're just good. They, they just all over. So they, they don't need time. <laughs> they just know everything. <laughs> they just, they don't need Google. They don't need Google. They, they good. <laughs> so that's just my opinion. But what oh, you- I think I think um somebody has a question for you, Karima. That's I just put it. There. I just put it. So oh, you're gonna answer that? Yeah, because it, it, I see it comes on your side first. What makes it not good is a mental thing. What did I say? I was Mike. I was I was answering Meek's question. So and he's what, asking you a question, so answer it. What makes it not good? I didn't say it wasn't good. Did I? Did I say it good? I know that was your question. You said if the mental, if you have a mental connection and something and the sexual compatibility is not good. That was you. What what he's saying is what makes the sex not good. That's what he meant. That's but what I, he meant. Uh, I mean, it could be anything. Like it, you just not hit in my spot. It could be multiple things. Like. Okay. But that doesn't all that doesn't even matter to me is, is what I basically what I said. As far as I wouldn't leave someone if that was our problem. 
Okay, so let's just say express it, and then so let's just say no matter what you try to show him, he can't please you sexually. Are you still going to be? Yeah, 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 really? Is it? Is it? I've never, I've never had that. I don't know. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Meek. I've never had that problem. That I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe we should ask him. I don't know. What do you think? (laughs) (laughs) I am. I am baffled. (laughs) I'm rambling. I don't know. Um, that's never happening. Now, the reason why I was asking, I'm going off what you said. If you have a mental connection, you would still stay. That's why I was asking if the like, this, the physical part of the relationship was not there, it didn't exist, would you still stay? That's why I asked that question. It doesn't exist at all. Meaning like, you guys do have sex, but you just it's don't get enjoyment out of it at all. I mean, I guess after a while, it's, I guess, so for me, I guess I think it depends on the dynamic of the relationship for real, because if you have that mental connection and stuff, or let's say you've been with that person for X amount of years or whatever, and it's just kind of off, um, I, 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 it's the decision that that individual has to make. You know, yeah. everybody has, you know, a different opinion on how if they would stay or not stay like literally it's up to the individual to make that 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 uh to answer that question right because isn't it scientifically proven that women's um our sexual peak gets higher as we get older but men's gets they lower, get lower and yeah. also, then then also yeah so ed plays a part so it's really like doesn't that always just happen like after 50 or whatever age 40 50 60 so Really, I should be asking Mike Hardy Sr. that question. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Our peak goes higher, so I don't know. I, I have no idea. Mike Hardy, sex is 10% physical, 90% mental. It is because, right. Yeah, he's absolutely right. Because conversation is stimulating for me. And if you're not taking me out on dates, you're not doing, you're not, you know what I mean? Like, it's, so basically intimacy starts way before the bedroom. Thank you. So he's absolutely right. It starts at conversation. It starts at like all day, you know what I mean? Like all week and just, every, you know, like, so he, you're right about that. I have to, right. I could be turned off because of inconsistency. So he's absolutely right on, on it being 90% mental. He's right. He's absolutely right about that. Stimulate the the main the mind, right? So that's what it is. So even before you, you know your your sexual encounter, uh, she has to even be turned on by by you by you at all, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. right? Because now you yes, right, all day, right, right, because, yes. Uh, yeah, it's just not gonna work. It's like, yeah, that's women though. Yeah, that's women. Yeah, yeah. It's like on yeah. It's like on occasion we can do it if we're not stimulated in every other way, but. Really must question oh. about it. Like that woman's upbringing is getting a little why she has had so many sexual partners. For example, her parents were gone there into a virtual character system foundation that was played. Right. I like that. She would be very particular and careful who she would give her body to. Yes, you gotta be selective. But I'm not saying that you know everybody's decision is their decision. So Facts, facts. I'm just, I, yeah, I, I didn't grow up in church or anything. Like, I went to church, you know, turned back to church when I was older, but I just, it's just something in me where I'm just very selective anyway. Even with anything, like, I just, like I said, I won't even go on a date. Like, I, I don't, yeah, please, don't get me started. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I try not to drink too many people because I get one drink and it's over, right? right. Me, remember that part? Yeah, you, yeah yo, your yo, yo homegirl can't dance, bro. You got to teach, take her oh. to dancing school or something. Uh, you saw her the video of uh, Adam Cheryl's party? No. You didn't see the video? No, because no, he didn't see it on Facebook. That was years ago. I don't even know what you're talking about. You said what you talking side. about? You just did it when you was with Samantha. You still can't dance? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like my dance? No, we gonna get you some help, man. I was drunk. No, I have no. It doesn't matter if I have dance lessons. I, I took one lesson and it just, just didn't work. So, <laughs> I've been trying. First of all, I was killing it, killing it. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, 
I watched that video like 50 million times, and every time I watch it, I laugh, yo, because like you really thought you was doing something. But I'm just... Wait, wait, you talking about Long Island? What's Samantha? I'm talking about um that show's party in Long Island. No, I knew I wasn't doing nothing. I was I was drunk though. I was really I was done. I didn't eat, and I that's where it all goes downhill for me. I I need to eat before I get anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, I was done. I had a good day though. I had I did my first music video. I was good. I was so happy. Like I pushed myself through my comfort zone and it came over there to that party and didn't eat. And let me tell you something, those drinks were very strong. Nobody told me that she, she the way she poured drinks. So me and Jackie were done. But can you do me a favor though? No, you because see you how you push yourself out your comfort zone, right? Can you push yourself towards a dance instructor? Dance instructor, shut up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Alvin Ailey next uh -huh. week. That's you didn't I'm help saying. me. You let me. You let me. And then Linda takes me. You let me stay on the floor. You didn't give me water. You didn't give me bread. You didn't anything. You just I gave me. you water. Yes, I did. I gave you a jasmine water. You just let me drown on the stage. Not on the stage. I mean, I, I, okay, I did in the beginning because it was funny. But then after a while, I was being nice and gave you water. After a while, <laughs> I, I don't remember anything. Yeah. Well, I had fun. I was embarrassed, though. I said, I'm never going to y'all. Uh, no, nah, you were having fun. fun. Don't ever be embarrassed when you're having was, fun. What are you talking that about? Was embarrassing. That was horrific. I'm going to send you the video. Embarrassing. Bingo. He must have liked what um, what's the name said. But, all right. So, here's the next question, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's say you're in a relationship for, like, five years. <laughs> and he tells you I didn't want to tell you this in the beginning because I didn't want you to judge me, but I had sex with over a thousand women. Just uh, like over exaggerating? Uh, for real? No, like he's being honest. Like okay. y'all in a relationship five years later into the relationship, he, he feels like it's something you should know, but he didn't want to get judged in the beginning, so he didn't tell you. So after a while, he finally decided to tell you, look, I don't know if this is going to make you look at me differently, but I had sex with a thousand women. Oh. Would you stay in a relationship with him or would you break up with him? Five years in. Now I'm in love and stuff and delusional. Yeah, I'm going to stay. Because he tricked me. I don't like that. He should have told me that in the beginning. I would have left then. I would have. A thousand. But didn't you say, why would you want to ask questions like that in the beginning? So I'm confused. He, he said he should. I said he should tell me. I didn't say I should have asked him. Oh, okay. But really, so I'm do you voluntarily tell people how many people you have sex with? I'm sorry, what you said? The light went out. I said, so do you voluntarily tell people how many people no, you have sex with? I don't voluntarily tell and I don't voluntarily ask. So then why should he tell you then? He, so why are you telling me now? What? I'm just asking what you know? say. I'm going off what you said. I'm going off by this man. Why didn't he tell me? Then keep it to yourself. Y'all make no volunteer information that this man's going to volunteer. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. So you would stay? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot, though. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So, um, in the beginning of a relationship, uh, he said breakout drink. He said breakout drink with AIDS test. For real. I mean, at that point, I've been waiting for five years. I do need one. He need one. I need one. Look what he brought me. And I'm like, hey. like, so in the beginning of a relationship, I'd rather just not know, like, for real, because um, I'm, I'm starting a relationship with you, and I don't think in the beginning of a relationship, I don't think I would ever want to know if you had that amount of freaking people that's in long. your life. That's, that's yeah, that, That's you. Because it's out here. Even so, in the beginning, I'm like, man, I, I, yeah, good luck with your life. Yeah, you had it in the beginning. You had it in the beginning. And that's why, that's why he kept it to himself. Yeah. But I don't think that's but, the thing he should have told you. There, there, I mean, there are some things that there are some things that are better left unsaid. Let's put it that way. And I uh, oh, I wouldn't. Nah, I'm, that's something I would. better left unsaid. Yeah, take it to the grave. <laughs> take it to the grave for real. Like I mean, keep that to yourself. Why rile, rile up the whole? Uh, it, like a whole argument because that's what it's gonna, you know, or, or a walkout, yeah. or a walkout. Like we out yeah. of here. So, why, why do that to yourself, man? There's some things like, like I said, man. If you're gonna do it in life, uh, everybody don't need to know. Take it to the grave. You, you know what I mean, and, and save your relationship for. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. 
I agree with you. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you say? I can agree with you. So, like, oh, you what's up with the questions, man? Why do you think nasty girls are winning? Do you still feel that way? Yeah. Against the good women? Yeah. You see it on TV. You see it. You see it everywhere around you. But that's y'all. Y'all following them on Instagram. We see y'all. We see who y'all liking. Y'all like that stuff. You like the BBLs. You like the nasty women. You like the half naked women. So for me personally, I don't like BBLs. Like, I don't like even know what a BBL was until like two weeks ago. You yeah, okay. I don't know who that was. You clicking these pictures though, me. You this Ooh, is me? Who, this is your algorithm. These are the women you like. Who me? That you like to look at. Yeah. So y'all what? I like conservative women. Okay. I don't like women with the ass titties out. But that's the world we live in. It. That's the world we're living in right now. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they winning. It's the, it's the truth. So you got to think about it like this. You got songs. What's that song? That wet ass pussy. You got women basically telling you, I am not going to do anything as a woman. I am not going to cook. I am not going to clean. Okay? But I'm going to give you some bomb ass sex. And that's just what it is. And that's the world that we're living in right now. This is why the modern day woman that, that works as conservative are not in relationships because unfortunately you have those type of women overshadowing y'all. Right. And also let me comment real quick because uh, I feel like this is like a quote unquote microwave society. I mean, they go we, we always gonna have like the people who are going out entertain and whatever, and they go they looking for a quick a quick fix. You feel me? So, I mean, that's why they win it because it's as easy as fast. Like, what, what, what little to say? Time <laughs> <laughs> ready? I'm so, ready. Go. so, yeah, I mean, that's that's why they win it for real. But they don't have to go, you know, men don't have to go into uh, a deep relationship and while, you know, trying to get to know this person. I mean, sometimes it's just fast, yeah. easy. I yeah. mean, the, the, the microwave society. Oh, God. Put yeah. It, Wait three minutes later, you good on okay. gay. But if you want a home cook meal, now you're talking about the women that you are engaging with, right? So you you this is your your your, your queen, right? So you mm -hmm. that, that's your that's your home cook meal right there. You see me? So I mean quote unquote, that's what it is. So that's why they win it. You you you, know, you go to a strip club, you do you, I mean, hey look, this this is what it is, this is what I'm gonna get right right then and there. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's 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 why I feel I feel they win it. They they win it because so what can we do? That's not fair, they winning. So what are we supposed to do? <laughs> they winning. Y'all telling us they winning, so so we need to be we, we, we need to get up on the stage. Okay, so get all no, 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 when I say winning, I don't <laughs> that's not a crime. I don't mean they I don't mean they, 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 they are top. You know what I mean? Top notch, right? Right. I mean, well, when we say women, I think we we gonna refer the word women to um, the camps of the culture, right? <laughs> the culture. I agree with you, right. but that's the yeah. Cancel it all the way. Facts. I agree with that too, but that's just it's sad and it's unfortunate, but that's what's going on. We you know. We need to bring it back to the nineties, man, where the love was real, you know. Now it's like R and B. Some love. Heart. I yeah. saw the other day it was that nineties kind of R and B love. I just ordered that shirt. I like that. Yeah, because it's the it's fact right. you gotta bring it back to that, man. But I feel like, like you don't have that no more because it's like showing love and being nice to somebody is like you're you're vulnerable, you're weak. And that's why people don't do it because people are being made fun of just being nice, like it's, it's corny and it's sad. Yeah, no, I like nice, I like vulnerable, I like all that. Um, yeah, and you, you can't be too nice. Oh, you heard that? What you say? I said it, it doesn't. It doesn't work to be nice. To you say you can't be like, too nice to these women. Too, it, yeah. Is that, is that like, true? Though? No, like yes, that's a, that's a quote unquote what they call simp, right? Yo, thank. See, they, there we go, brother. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. You, you. All yeah, right. Because they're they're gonna, gonna, <laughs> they, they, they gonna, they gonna take you for a fool, you know. So that's what it is. You can't be. You, you have to have a standard. You have to have boundary, right? And, and that's what you gotta come to the table for. We, you can't be too nice because they're gonna walk up on you like a doormat. Where are these nice? Where are they at? What? What? Where? where? 
Who, who's walking along? I feel like you guys, you nice guys are choosing the wrong women because who wouldn't want a nice guy? Oh, I, I, I'm just saying. Like, do you not? Do you guys know what type of women? That you, like, guys always complain about this woman, this woman. But I'm like, y'all choose. This is the type of woman y'all are choosing. There are women out here. I feel like good men choose bad women, and I feel and, like and, it's good, and same thing for women too. Right, right. Good women right. choose bad men. Right. I hear these stories, and I'm like, he's such a nice guy. Like, why is she dogging him like that? So, is that what you guys are saying? That the good guys are getting dogged because they're nice? Is that what? Is that? Is that? Is that, is that, is that not, 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 not in so many words, but I mean, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Because they are being taken advantage of, and every little, in, every little uh, way that that girl could take advantage of, she will, and, and that's why you gotta have, you gotta have. You gotta have the boundaries, and you you gotta have that willpower to let somebody know real quick, like yo, you ain't gonna take advantage of me, that, and that's just the bottom line. So uh, that's just what it is, like. And uh, well, yeah, don't, and matter. you can't tell me, Kareem, you can't tell me that they won't. Like you, you can't tell me that they won't because any little thing that somebody, some some girl would uh, is able to take advantage of. They they they're getting. Oh, let me have a hundred dollars here. Uh, see, oh, he got it with no problem. problem. I don't. I wouldn't even. I don't even take dinner from a guy that I don't like. I just. I don't like. I don't. I don't, yeah, like, I don't, like, I don't like. I don't like people taking yeah, advantage of people. But um, yeah. I don't know. I've overlooked a lot of nice guys because I just didn't really like them that much, and it wasn't because they were nice. It's just I wasn't. I don't know. I just didn't like them that much, and I have to like someone a lot to entertain them, and it has nothing to do with them being nice. Like, I like nice guys, but I also have to like you. I'm not going to just settle because you're nice and you're a good guy. I've tried, and I'm like, eh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you know, I'm not, I'm going to step back because I'm not even going to, I don't want to mess him up. You know what I mean? Just like, I don't like him like that. So, but he's really nice. And I tried. I tried. I like, he's so nice. I'm going to try. No, I can't. I'm like, oh, I don't even like his ear, his laugh. I don't like, like, and no, he gotta go. Like, <laughs> but I like nice guys that I like. <laughs> if I'm making any sense, so I don't uh -huh. even like nice guys. If I don't like you, I don't like you. But I like nice guys. Some girls are really good guys because of the clinginess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. Kawan. The clinginess. I mean, I think there could be. Uh, Nice guys. And not clinging. Uh, yeah, because they, they hold it down for themselves. So All right. That, and they don't really need you for real. Right. They, they they don't need that girl. But at the same time, they, they may just want to challenge for themselves. Yeah. So let's put it that way. And yeah, they, they agree with that. that. Yeah. So um you know what I mean they they'll go for that, you know, that highly entertaining girl, whatever you want to call it, right? So it's a nice way to word it. You see that? Y'all could have worded it like that in your podcast. Oh boy. It was a couple of words that could have been used. But, I, but I'm me, baby. Like I gotta be me. Like, I can't be nobody else. I gotta be me. But I feel like you guys, like you guys, were throwing some words out, and like you guys could have said it a different way. Like what did you? What's the what? You, what's the term we just said? Highly, highly entertained women. I like that. I am so sorry. Next time, I will try to refrain from using harsh <laughs> words at my next podcast. I promise, Karima, from the bottom of my heart. It's not for me. It's for the highly entertained women that I am. Not for me. I am highly entertained, but I, I feel for them. Like, that is just, you know, it came across. They were, they were offended. <laughs> <laughs> In other words. So what's considered as clingy? That that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Well, for me, clingy is like you texting me every five minutes, what I'm doing, where I'm at, who I'm with. You want to know everything about me 24-7, who I'm around. To me, that's clinginess. Because even okay, I understand you're in a relationship, but you still need your me time. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like to be asking me every five minutes where I'm at, who I'm with, what I'm doing, you know, why you didn't answer the phone when I called. To me, that's clingy. That's that's hella clingy. That's hella clingy. That is a lot. I don't I don't text that much. Yeah, but um, I had a guy that used to text me all the you know, just what W Y D like all day. That was so annoying. But I didn't consider yeah. it clingy. It just was annoying. Yeah. Like, cause like 
I like conversation, basically. I don't like, I like more than how are you and what you're doing is the same thing. It's like, how are you? Like, I, I literally, so I'm a sapiosexual because I, I like, I love conversations, real deep conversations. And that had, you know, so clingy for me, I guess would be like, I, I could feel you on the, who are you with or whatever, or you didn't answer me. Cause like, sometimes you can't answer the phone, but I feel like there's sometimes like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't be questioning people. So I don't know. I'm 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 the opposite of clingy, like yeah, detached. yeah. totally detached. It's terrible. Like it's probably not good. I probably need to go hang out with somebody clingy. So yeah, maybe you should go see a therapist or something. You know, get that figured wow. out. You know, wow. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. All I said was I'm not clingy. You like that's all I said. Okay. So I'm the opposite. Whatever why, you say. Why are you going to listen to therapists just to get clingy? <laughs> un, un, like, I don't even, whatever. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll go on yeah. Google. Because you think about it like this, maybe your detachment issues can prevent you from being there. Huh? Say it again? That sounded like it was a good statement. No, I said maybe <laughs> but your I don't detachment think issues are preventing you from being in a good relationship. I, you, I didn't say issues. I said I'm detached. But who said issues? I mean, being detached, maybe that's possibly hurting you being in a good relationship. You ever thought about it like that? I don't like what you're saying. But, to I, me. Mean, I, I feel like, <laughs> I, I, I yeah. mean, I'm just saying. Yes, if someone, if someone, but if, if not me. So, like, if you are, if you are so clingy, you you are texting this shorty like every what, 15 minutes or so quote unquote that's that's od man yo, yo go find something to do for real right. bro uh because you know uh, they they say uh what's the thing they say they um absolutely absence, absence right yes yes if i can have one or two good conversations with you with you a day i'm good like i'm good uh, yeah i mean I, i'd rather i'd rather um come come back together and have a nice little conversation but you, you know what i mean uh uh, uh, uh what a table that sit down table oh, conversation yeah. right yeah. so i mean i i, I don't want to tell you every detail of my life every 15 and 15 text minutes too. Minutes ago, right so i, I we can talk about that all right texting stop, stop texting yeah right. texting oh, right who wants to text everything so that that's clingy that, that's that's talk right now wow yeah what you were saying before did that it was a, it was a bit excessive okay well, right, well, right. We about to be to the end of the portion of the show, but before we get out of here, you got any more questions, Karima? Um, how do you keep up with your body count, and and what is your body count? Because so let me give you a story time real quick. I'm gonna give you a little time since you're laughing and moving your glasses. That means you need some time, and you have your hand in front of your face. As I read two pages of a how to read body language, two pages of it. So basically, that was page one, but you're trying to hide. <laughs> All right, well, damn. Um, Let me give you my story time really quick. And then, oh, that's the chair. Sorry. So, look, uh, that question stems from because I had an ex in my 20s and he bragged later, like later on in our relationship, how many women he slept with. And he's like, he had 60 women. And I did not believe him. That's a lot. In our like mid 20s, maybe early 20s, mid 20s. I was like, that's a lot. That's disgusting. Um, And then I found the list. He really kept the list. Yeah. So I that's my question is, do you not really keep like so how do you keep up I mean, with this list? Do you have a, a real list per se? Like you check it all. Like he literally had a list of every woman he slept with. Name, name. It was that why like so how do you keep up with me? My list is so short. I can boop, 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 stop. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like when I was in my twenties, I, I just didn't like that too. Like, I had a list too. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. I mean, like, I used to, I used to collect panties. What? I used to collect panties from the girls. So I, I know I was a wild boy when I was, I was young back in the day. You know, my backsliding days. You know what I'm saying? So. That's crazy. I like this stuff. But That's... to answer your question, no, I'm not gonna tell how many bodies I got. So, what? so uh -uh. no, no, no. I'll put it to you like this. It's a lot. No, no, no. Okay, all right. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I give I'll give it to you like this. No. I would say don't, don't give me an estimate. Tell me how many. Because that's crazy. <laughs> a lot of bodies. Let's just say that, all right? 
I was what? a wild boy when I was younger. What's so wild? You got a hundred because you said a hundred. You got a hundred bodies on you. <laughs> that's why you use that number. That was the first example you used. That's why you used your own number. That's a lot of women. How that's I ain't gonna give you a number because I already know it's a lot. A, you don't want to answer. B, you about to give an estimate. You about to round it off. No, like, I wasn't yeah. around the rope. I was going to tell you from like my age range. I was just going to basically say from one age to the, another age, I was a wild boy. That's what I was going to say. How many? I'm not telling you. Are you? <laughs> That's crazy. A lot. I just told you it's a lot. What's a lot? What's up? Because what's a lot to you is not a lot to the next person or a highly entertained person. But, all right. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the exact number, but I'll just tell you over 80. Let's just leave it like that. Over 80. So you out here with 150 women on your body. I didn't say that. I said over 80. It could be 81. It could be 82. That's a lot. I just you're, said over 80. You're in your 30s. And you saying you had a wild time frame in your 20s. So that means you really. And then you just got out of a 10-year relationship. So we, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> So you was wilding out here before your 10 year relationship. I was a wild boy, yeah. yeah. So between then to like 25, 20, you were you had seven say we'll just say like 79. That wow. You are highly valued. Wait, not highly. What's the word? <laughs> highly what was the other word? And it's entertained. You yeah, were high I, high yeah, like I said, I was a wild boy, man. I had a past, <laughs> man. But sometimes people that have a past tell the best stories. Yeah, true that, true that. That's why I got stories for days, because I did a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you have discipline now? Are you, are you disciplined? I'm very disciplined. Now, now for me, it's like it has to be some type of mental connection with me to have sex with you. Like, you can sit there and be butt naked in front of me right now. If I don't feel that mental connection, I'm just going to look at you. And I've had that happen to me numerous times where the girls were just like, yo, I'm throwing the pussy at you. What's up? And I'm like, because I don't feel you like that. I don't know what to tell you. So how did you even get to that aspect that she was throwing it if you if you weren't, or you didn't know until then that she just isn't hey, working on her? Exactly my point. Like, you know, so it's mental for me now. So it's like, that's why I'm not having sex right now because I don't feel like I have a mental connection with anybody to take it that far. So... And that's the change. That, that's the change. That's the change. We were talking about the development before. Absolutely. Oh, I'm proud of you. You, you, you're. After you've entertained, you are very. I'm finally growing up to be a big boy now. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody got a parent, right? So it's it is what it is. I mean, um, it's now the maturity, right? So we we going into a mature stage as of where we are now disciplined, right? So that's just what it is. Well, maybe I want somebody that was always disciplined. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna find him. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. That's true. Sure there were. There gotta be. I mean, you, you're not. You, you're not. I know one one guy that went. I know a couple people that went straight through law school. They didn't have. They didn't sleep with anyone. Those are disciplined people. Oh, some of them. No, they didn't. They were virgins all through law school, and then they got married, and then they. Well, maybe, maybe they culture. I mean, maybe it was in the culture. I mean, you just never know. But uh, majority of the time, nah, man. Every I man, everybody growing up, and especially in the nineties, uh, we we all this about stuff, right? So let's just put it that we way. We were like two or three in our nineties. Wait, in the nineties? I'm sorry, I was so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm about to say, um. <laughs> That's my best time. I can't count. I'm uh, like, can't, GPS, I'm going. Like, uh, <laughs> but even so, in the 90s, what? Like, growing up. Growing no, up, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it right? had to be 2000s because in the 90s, we were young. We were still young in the 90s. Yeah, in the 90s. Yeah, we're. Right. Uh -oh, how old were you? 37. So, in the, the 90s, yeah, right. 2000. 2000. All right, I'm about to say, me. I wasn't out uh, there. So let's just say I 90, wasn't out there. Our, our 90 generation. Okay, thank you. Children, right? Which is us, right? 90 generation. Right? 
Yeah, we, we we all did some things. I, and my mind is really I I, don't, I can't get the exact verse, but if my mind is really stuck on that J Cole that joint yeah. right there. Every every cent I got to pass. Every da 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 da. In my lifetime, whatever. I think thirty five. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, you gotta look at it. High high body count, low body count. Some people, you know, just whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Man, you guys are very experienced. <laughs> It's just your politically correct way of saying I'm a hoe. So whoa, 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 whoa! I have your definition of a hoe here. I don't have mine here. I don't know what to talk about. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I plead the fifth. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> All right. So usually, what I do at the end of the show is I do this thing called Quick Five, where I just ask five random questions. Don't worry about it. It ain't raunchy. It ain't crazy. They're regular, normal questions. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Lightning round. Question number one. Where am I going to go with this? Okay. What did you learn from your last relationship? Um, I used to be more patient and um, not to a red flag, a pink flag. That's it. Don't change it. Potential. I'm I'm done with potential. So, uh, you me, gotta be. Yeah, for me, is uh, if a person shows you who you are, believe them. Yep. Don't try to change it. And women tend to see something, and we be like, eh, nope, now nothing. I see all oh, red flag. Okay, let me take a step back. Let me think. Let me look. So that's what I learned. Okay. Pay attention. Yeah. Yield. 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 Stop. Hold. <laughs> 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 all right uh the, the next question i have is what would you tell your 15 year old self man i would tell her first of all to live more i don't think i lived enough when i was younger um i would tell her to be careful people are not always who they are pretending to be and i would say like be more in the moment and just live more. Like be be young. Be young. I didn't do enough. I didn't go out. Be young. And yeah. That's what I would say. For me, uh, just just be patient, right? And uh learn. Like you know what I'm saying? Just learn people, be patient, make better decisions. Yeah, people are not as genuine as me, and that's what I'm or, I'm still learning. Yeah, or decisions will actually open up once you learn who they are. Yeah. As, as far as it coming down to people. Yeah. Right. So it, it'll open up. You'll you'll see eventually. You'll see uh, you know red flags in the road or or anything. You know, caution. Yeah. Take more chances too. I don't I, I don't think because because what they say is that you will um, regret things more things that you didn't do than what you did do. So I would say just go go after it. Like, you know, like go after more opportunities. Don't be so shy and don't be so scared. Something like that. I have a book for her. Where is she? Can I tell her? <laughs> all right all right the next question is teenage heartbreak or adult heartbreak which one is more harder to deal with oh adult heartbreak um i, I mean that's that thing where uh a, a pound is a pound whether it's a feather or it, it, or a ton of rocks right yeah. so I, I think it's just the same i mean you're gonna have the feelings so it, it's the same it doesn't matter Okay. Um, the next question: What did you do wrong in your last relationship? You want to go first? <laughs> I, I chose that. I chose that chick. Kind of I guess. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, uh, like I said, maybe uh, I'm just joking, but at the same time, I, maybe I just didn't learn a enough okay so what about you karima you didn't answer the question what was the question what did i do wrong? <laughs> yeah um nothing i'm just amazing what do you mean i i stayed too how are you trying to flip it i stayed i stayed too long when i should have left that has nothing to do with me right so that's um, what you did wrong no i know yeah i stayed too long i should have left I think I um I'm just not vulnerable enough. I, I'm very guarded. So I think I should have let my guard down more. And that was it. Okay. 
the next and last question will be your ex or your first love. Who would you date again and why? I don't want to date neither. You got to pick one. I guess my ex. Okay. Um, I would go with the first love. I, I would definitely go with the first love because uh, I, I feel like uh, love, love don't change. Uh, you have you have some sort of feeling for that person. There was a reason, right? So I would go with the first love. Okay. Okay. I like that answer. I like that answer. Well, we have come to the ending of the show. Do you have any positive affirmations to say, Miss Karima? And uh, the friend in the background. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, everybody called me out there. My last name is Cherry, so everybody prefers me as Cherry, right? But Cherry? Um, All right, man. Cool, no doubt. So, um, everything, uh, any positive affirmations? Um, I don't know. Well, what about questions for you? Why didn't you answer any of those two questions? Does it work like that? I mean, I could. I didn't. I you didn't ask. I just have two questions. What do you What do you think you did wrong in your last relationship? I think I know already. You speak a lot. For but me? What do you think, yeah, you. Um, I think I was overly emotional. I think I was too emotional in my last relationship. Like I really didn't have my emotions in check. I think that's what I did wrong. To be honest with you. Like if I would have had my emotions in check, I would have been able to not do certain things that I did in the relationships. So I would say my emotions, what I did wrong in my last relationship. Can you, can you do me a favor? Ask that final question one more time. Oh, the final question you want me to ask? One more question. Hold on. Oh, you're, oh, you want me to ask it again or answer it? Just ask it. Ask it one more time so I can get it verbatim. So I'm trying to think of it. Okay, your ex or your first love, who would you date again and why? No, no, the final question. The final question. But that, that, was, yeah, that was, was the last question. He wanted to know like, how you were closing it out. He wanted the final. Yeah, the do you have any final affirmations or thoughts? Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Well, That's what I ain't got much to say. Shout out to my boy. You know who you are, Squala. All I got to say is hashtag black men don't cheat. <laughs> but they do. How was it? How was it? How, how, how is it? How is your journey of just not doing anything? Because remember, we had a podcast on celibacy. Remember, and you, yeah. you got there, and everybody's like, first of all, nobody understands celibacy. But how do you understand being selective or celibacy or whatever journey you're on? Like, how is that going? And how do you maintain being so disciplined at this at this age in your life? Like it's not easy. Even like, if you want to select like, it, it's not easy. How do you, how do you maintain it? Well, for me personally, I have the the king and queen mentality right now. So it's like I'm looking for my queen, but I'm also building myself up to be that king for my queen. So that's how I just look at it. I don't go there trying to pursue women to have sex. Like I barely talk to people. You feel me? So. That's just where I'm at with it. I'm mentally trying to get myself together because I want my next relationship to be my last one. So that's just okay. what I do. Do you think you can, I think we spoke about this before. Do you think you can work now? If you found your queen and you're not fully where you want to be, do you think you should try at that point together? Or do you think you would take a chance of letting her go somewhere? You know what I mean? Like say like, yeah. I'm not ready right now. Like, but that's also a chance of you not, getting her and keeping her do you think that you would work if you found your queen today and you were not as where you want to be in your journey would you try to get into a relationship with her or would you just like no not right now i Risk mean personally i would well, give her the option i would let her know that i'm still on my you know self-discovery journey but if you want to be in a relationship with me you can't just you know, I'm letting you know right now, I'm trying to figure myself out. So I may not do everything correctly. So Good answer. fair warning, you know? So you might have to act on yourself to uh, see a standard? Yeah, that's just how I, I, I'll be honest. You know, that's what I would say. So when and you if you decide to stick around, then that's on you. If you want to leave, you can leave, you know? So, <laughs> Excuse me. What do you, what, so I have another, two more questions and that's it. Okay. Um, you know how they say... Cause, so based in your 
your podcast that you you, you guys have for the male perspective. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are talking about um, a lot of things, but I wrote some notes here because do you think um, every person that you sleep with, you should be, how, should, how can I phrase this? So I wrote here, you can literally date multiple people and not have sex with every person. That's what I say. That's what I think. I can be dating eight guys and that doesn't mean I'm sleeping with all eight guys. I could just be sleeping with one. But I also mentioned here that you can date most people and not sleep with everyone. I also wrote here because you guys mentioned something about, I think Deron said like she's over there performing oral sex on every guy that she's with. But you can also be with a guy and not, you know what I mean? And not be performing oral on each and every guy. So I don't know, like, is that a case for you? So every girl that you mess with, did you perform oral on her? Because you guys said something. I forgot what you guys um, said, particularly because I wrote I wrote this here, but I didn't write what you guys wrote. But what my point is that every person that I'm with, I'm not always... Just because I could be messing with you, dating you, whatever, that doesn't mean I slept with you. There's a lot of guys I've dated and I've never slept with them. But in, I mean, your, in the podcast, it made it seem like you guys just... I don't know. You guys are all over the place in that podcast. They were all over the place. It was place. very entertaining, though. You guys are. I, That's but I, the whole I, purpose I, of podcasting. Let me tell you something it's about entertainment. No, multi-layered entertainment. Because I know you two are and are very highly entertained <laughs> men. <laughs> I'm glad okay. you are a great okay. observer. I like okay. that about you. You, know, you, right. you get what I'm saying? You guys were very entertained in their podcast, but you two are very highly entertained men, and I know that for it. I already know that. So you guys. That was cute. That was cute. But to answer yeah. your question, me personally, every girl I spoke to, I did not have sex with. So, no, I. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, you said you had two more questions. What's the last one? Um, do you think having a low body count is bad? Like, can, I mean, can, can a low body count ever be? looked at as bad you know what i mean because then they're less experienced so maybe yeah anything. that's what i was gonna say just though. that's why i didn't really know how to answer that question but i mean maybe. i feel like i feel like you know as men and women we should have some sexual experience you know because we have to learn our bodies and you know learn the bodies of the people we're dealing with so i mean i don't know if that answers your question but that's just how i look i mean uh like what number would you consider low i don't know I guess they said 20 is, they said being 20, the average, 20 is a lot. So what is the average? I don't know. He said Google came to his house and told him um, 20. Oh, no, no. He said, oh, oh, I wrote that. And they read it on here. I wrote it on the other one. Because that's what I, that's the question I wanted to know. Because you guys, you said um, you had spoken to a lot of women. And on the average, they have about, you know, between 10 to 25 bodies. <laughs> Podcast. He spoke to women and he, he he did a I don't know what he did. He didn't have a census, but I wanted to know where did you get this small bias sample flawed population? To be honest with you, what I did was I just you know walked around and I told people, hey, I'm doing a podcast. You mind if I ask this question? And, and I, one, asked, and, answered. I asked a hundred people and and, I, I, in one demographic area, though. As I had that on my thing, so you 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 should have when you came, you should have just been all over. You can't. That's I think that's just a Ford. I went to different parts Ford. of the state that I live in. So I currently live in Pennsylvania. I went I to know, different that's, parts. That state is. I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> that's how I based it. I feel like you. I feel like you really can't get like a full consensus because you only did it in one state even if you did it in different parts i feel like as a you know i feel like he should have asked more women all around like i don't because I, you said what did they so say how about this how about you let me borrow your jet and i can fly around the world and ask girls <laughs> how about that you got me are you going to take it up yeah I, and i'll gas up the jet and all of that then it's yours you honestly then it's yours in my opinion i mean i don't think there's nothing wrong with having a low body count I mean, let's say the, the dude could have been with the girl for, well, I mean, few girls, right? I, I don't think there's something wrong with it, but I mean, also, I, I don't know. I just feel like on the, on the scale, it's, 
it just depends on the individual again like it doesn't matter it just depends on who you are it doesn't matter if you have a low body count or a high body count at all it really doesn't matter and that's just my opinion I, I respect that opinion i respect that so a thousand guys that she's been with it doesn't matter he said you heard it here you heard it here what do they say on the news? you heard it here live right right thank you that's what they say so you heard it here live that's what he just said okay cool meanwhile 20 minutes ago this was judge but, judy she would have referenced back to the fact that he said a thousand people his suitcase is packed already and he's added it uh, yeah, but right. it doesn't matter to him now okay, at the okay, end it, it doesn't right. matter so here it is, guys. I'm just, I'm just saying, though, like right? loud and clear, doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, all right. In this minute, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Touche, but I mean, like I said, I agree with what you said. So I got you know see it from that perspective, you know. So. Yes. But um, we can I say my final affirmation? I don't really yes, have one, but I have a lot. I don't know. All of a sudden, now I don't know. Like I like, but what we just have to go after what we want, no matter what it looks like. And go after every blessing, every opportunity. Do whatever, do whatever you want to do in life, and that's it. That's all I have to say. Life is short, so okay. we just have to live it to the fullest. Like what literally every day, every day. The Eagles. It's like a woman. It's like a woman. It just it's like. I told him that yesterday. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about how he's bringing it back up. You know how women will bring it back up the next day. That's what I mean. Can y'all do me a favor? This is can I go get a can y'all go get a room somewhere, please? Thank you. Right. Um, like I was saying, Bye. my affirmation Bye. is yes. like I said before, shout out to my boy Squalor. Hashtag black man don't cheat. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. shout out. <laughs> black man cheat. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you, Karima, Trey. I appreciate you as well, bro. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, Word. Um, I actually, if you're interested in, in podcasting, maybe, you know, we can collab and we can do some, you know? Yeah, okay. I get kicked out of this. See, see what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah, good looking out, Karima. I don't think I'm going to need you anymore, but um, do me a favor. See? Give homeboy, give give no. homeboy my number, please. So he we don't can, know. My Facebook. He, see, I'm, he said he wrote me and I didn't get it. And then he yeah, well, up yeah, yeah, you're of you're of no use now, Karima. So thanks. Wow, you see I'll do a podcast at your homeboy. Okay. Yeah, that's, all right. I'll do that. Thank now, you. I'm fucking with you, Karima. You know I love you, baby. Uh, uh, love you. <laughs> y'all know the smoking and y'all know the motto as always. Spread love and I hate. Chase our dreams. We out of here. Peace. That was all right.